At least 11 people were hurt when a house collapsed in Syracuse, New York. Firefighters responded to reports of an explosion yesterday at a two-story house. When they arrived, they found many of the victims in the front yard, but had to pull at least one person out of a car buried in the rubble. The victims were taken to the hospital. Two are reported to be in very serious condition. Officials say all residents have been accounted for, and an investigation into the cause of the explosion is now underway. An autopsy is released on the death of a college student in Nashville, and Good Samaritans hold down a sex assault suspect. Those are some of the headlines on the morning newsstand. The New York Times reports residents in the New York City borough of Queens helped capture a suspect wanted in the rape of a 13-year-old girl. Nearly a dozen people stopped 25-year-old Christian Inga on the street yesterday and held him until officers arrived. They recognized him from photos and surveillance video released earlier by police. Authorities say he suffered minor injuries when he fought with the Good Samaritans after being stopped. He's accused of raping the girl last week in a park. The Tennessean says officials released the autopsy report for a college student whose body was recovered from a river after going missing in Nashville. The body of 22-year-old Riley Strain was pulled from the river in March, two weeks after he disappeared. Surveillance video showed him walking around, sometimes stumbling after he was kicked out of a bar. The medical examiner determined Strain died from accidental drowning and intoxication. The report found his blood alcohol level was nearly three times the legal limit, and he had a legal form of THC in his system.